Great expert on these things, uh, Roxanne Gay. Roxanne, very good to see you. Um, what is your view? Um, we've just seen data that shows younger women, um, broadly saying they have suffered more when it comes to inappropriate behaviour by men, uh, sexual behaviour by men, which they think is completely unacceptable. Is, is that because there is more of it around for younger people or is there a, is there a sort of attitudinal, attitudinal difference? What, what's your view? I, I think that younger people are more comfortable vocalizing when they experience sexual predation and that our cultural norms are changing and what was once at least socially acceptable, but certainly never acceptable, is now becoming something that we can openly condemn. And it, it's really pervasive, and we see this all the time. Can I um, also talk about something that we've talked about a lot about this programme, which is the sort of Me Too movement, movement. It's now been four years since it was launched. Do you think it has had a significant impact in reducing sexism? Oh. <laughs> You know, I don't think it's had a significant impact yet, but I do think that it has at least created an environment where we can have some of these conversations and we can talk about the real issues that women are dealing with and how constant it is. I don't think people realize, and Me Too really opened that door, but now we need to start to do more. How do we move beyond merely conversation about this into creating legislation that will actually protect women. And quite frankly, I don't know that the answer is more policing, which it seems what to be what the London Police Department is interested in trying. Um, I think it's more how do we teach men to not sexually harass and attack women? And as you say, it is a lot of it is about uh, teaching particularly younger men. Mm -hmm. um, what is your sense? Do you think younger males in America, particularly boys, yet have an improved understanding of, for example, the importance of consent? I think some do, absolutely. But, you know, there are so many cultural attitudes for every single generation about what men are allowed. So the younger generations, I would like to believe, are more open to understanding the complexities of consent and that no means no. But I know that a lot of younger people and younger women in particular are still dealing with sexual harassment. So I, I don't think it's trickled down as much as we would have hoped. Uh, and what do you think is the impact on popular uh, of popular culture? I mean, I, funny enough, I was talking, uh, you know, before we came back on air to um, one of our guests about computer games, many of many of which are <laughs> so violent. I mean, do you, do, do you think they have a pernicious impact? I think it can if you don't give children the tools to be media literate and to understand that the messages that they're consuming and that they do not necessarily apply to the real world. Uh, it's funny, my wife and I have been watching a lot of 80s and 90s television and movies because we've kind of run through what Netflix has to offer. And it's really surprising <laughs> the kinds of things <laughs> that people got away with back then in terms of sexist behaviors and sexist jokes and this really blurred line. Um, with consent. And so it's no wonder that there was an entire generation of men who were raised to believe that no doesn't actually mean no. And we still see vestiges of that kind of attitude in the pop culture that's being produced today. And it's really important that A, we teach media literacy, but that we also try to create pop culture that is entertaining, but is not misogynistic and really damaging to women. Now, in the UK, there's a lot of concern that the justice system does not work efficiently when it comes to sex crimes, for example. It, 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 do you think it works better in America? <laughs> no, it does not. Uh, I don't know that the justice system works anywhere for women well. And that's a travesty. It's 2021, and we're still having these really basic conversations. It's ridiculous. Uh, the United States has a really long way to go. I would say that the UK and the United States are in pretty much the exact same place in terms of the justice system dealing with uh, sexual violence. And I don't know what it will take to change, uh, but I think it will take women running the world. Uh, very nice to talk to you today. Uh, we'd love to talk to you again. Um, um, I, I, 